Hey guys, it's Dima from Demostech and today I'm checking the Ulanzi TC001 desktop clock and this should be able to draw some data from the internet and even our YouTube subscribers and probably some other things as well. Honestly, I'm not fully sure how that will work for us. Let's go ahead, unbox it and try it. I'm not fully sure how to power on this thing. Oh, there are a few buttons here. And I guess this is a lighting sensor. We have three buttons. We have here USB-C, some whistle buttons, I guess. And the speaker, I guess, only goes to not actually the whole thing. I do understand that there is a battery here. So let's try to power this on or see how it goes. And uh, if needed, we'll connect it to the USB-C cable seems like we will need to connect it to the USB-C cable. I don't think that it has any power right now. Thankfully, we have here a lot of USB-C cables and we should be able to work this out. Okay, uh, so it is plugged. I'm not fully sure what's next. hope this unit isn't dead or something, but it doesn't seem like uh, it is powering on right now. Maybe some different button. And maybe we'll need to read the manual this time, actually. Let me go read the manual and see where we get. Okay, so uh, I checked on the manual and it seems like we need to, in order to turn it on and off, press two of those buttons here for three seconds. Let's try that. I did here. Oh, oh, we do have here onesie and now we have Wi-Fi. Oh, great. Actually, I must say that the camera doesn't do good justice to it because uh, it seems very better quality than it is looking on the camera right now. You clock, uh, great. Okay, so it seems like uh, I do need to connect to its Wi-Fi and then use uh, the Lanzi clock app, I guess. Let me try to download this on my phone. Now, I guess it will be regular process. So I'll pause the video, connect to it, and we'll see how it looks. Okay, so I did decide to show you this thing because it looks a little weird. Anyways, uh, you do have to connect to its Wi-Fi, which is called Uplock, and you can see it on the screen right now. And then you need to open the browser. Now, when you connect to the Wi-Fi, you will be asked if you actually want to connect it because it won't give you internet, at least on the Samsung one. So let's go ahead to the browser and we need to enter the IP that is shown here, which is 192.168.4.1. It seems that way. And from here we can connect it to our personal Wi-Fi and then we'll probably be able to continue. Let's try that. Uh, after the onesie clock rebooted, <laughs> we can see that we have a different IP. Now, from what I understand, we can reconnect to it by connecting to our Wi-Fi and again, enter into this IP and then we can continue. Let's do this. Okay, it seems like we are connected, but everything in Chinese, which is not what I expected. And honestly, uh, okay, we have translation. Great. Okay, uh, let's... Try that this maybe and save and then we can continue. Okay, right now we are in real uh, English. So uh, let's see, we have here auto brightness. That's quite convenient and interesting. Uh, switch speed, that's an interesting thing, I guess. We'll adjust it later. Scroll speed, not fully sure what it is. Actually, I wonder if it will scroll now kind of better. Now the date seems to be correct already. And the scrolling, yeah, that's a normal scrolling, I guess. Ah, I didn't press save. Let's press save and see 
Give this clone. Oh, now we're talking. That's quite cool. I like that. Time zone, auto time zone. We can change the format of uh, the hours, the month, the day. I prefer this one. Show week. Uh, honestly, I don't care about that. The first day of the week for me it's Sunday. Night mode, you can tune sort of night mode, that's quite cool. Let's tune this from, I don't know, let's say maybe from 12 and it will finish at 8 a.m. Something like that. We have other things here as well, so we can show different things. We can uh, even, uh, okay, we have quite a few things here. I don't see here Instagram, but from what I understood, we can even run this Outrix simulator, which uh, probably will give us more things or even flash a custom firmware to this. Let's start with weather. I guess, oh, city code, weather.com. CN, oh wow, and search for a given city, you will see the city's ID. Okay, that's an interesting thing. And how about YouTube? Oh, you need the API key and everything. I guess we'll need to make those and then continue, but basically we do explain a little how to do that. So yeah, that's a DDS process, but it is possible. Can we just enable it for fun and don't actually use this? Some scoreboard, some chronograph, tomato clock, whatever it is, battery power, oh, battery power would be nice. The metrics also quite nice thing. And let's save it. And let's see, currently, as you can see, it shows me the clock. Let me try to focus maybe on the watch better. Yeah, maybe like this. Currently it shows like the metrics and things like that. It shows the IP now. And let's see what else it will show us. Probably will show us some weather de details. Okay, that's the time. And again, I must save it on camera. It doesn't give it justice because it shows pretty much better than what it shows on the camera. I'm not fully sure why. The date, and yeah, as you see, I've changed it, so it's something better for me. I don't think it will actually show us anywhere right now, but let's see. Yeah, it's back to the battery. Anyways, let me try to configure Fibins and then we'll see. So, I played a little, or not so little, with this device. I've gotta say, I don't like the Lanzi clock at all. I mean, it does do a job pretty okay. And I did flash a firmware, the Outrix light or something like that. And I followed uh, enough steps to make things like this. My Instagram currently has 310 subscribers, or followers better said, and like this. Uh, YouTube is 7580k subscribers and that's pretty much it I mean that's pretty much what I wanted it does what it does but honestly it's totally inconvenient in terms of uh, configuration I mean seriously it's a hassle and honestly I don't like it there is something called MQTT that it should be able to talk to and you can send messages to it but Without something like Home Assistant, and I currently don't have something like that, I didn't figure out how to send to it any other messages, just like workflows and things like that. Probably I can do something with uh, Node.js N8N app that I also had to install in order to make the subscribers and things like that work. The temperature here, uh, it's internal temperature. I mean, it doesn't even have the weather right now. I can probably install some workflow manually or something like that. Honestly, I don't see the point. The temperature it shows by itself is its internal one and this thing gets hot because it's on battery or it's powered by USB and they both get it hot and it's totally irrelevant. Those dots here, what the heck it means? This is like 12, that 12 month? Probably, but honestly, why just not write something normal? I mean, you can play and change probably everything here, but it's not convenient. You do need to know what you're doing. You can't even break stuff here. And honestly, I totally don't like this thing. So yeah, uh, if you really need this device, go on. I'll give a link in the description of this video. But honestly, I do not recommend this. I totally do not recommend this device. Thank you for watching this Demostech episode. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button and hit the bell so you won't miss any future video. And I'll see you on the next one.